maybe talk a little bit about some of the things that have gone through your mind in the last 12 to 15 hours? Well, probably the same things you thought about maybe for the last six weeks. Um, <clears throat> the uh, We had some real challenging schedule here since March and and the, the injuries in the Ottawa game uh, lost some key people and I think you're happy with the fact that you face the adversity you start to get frustrated with the fact that you've had the opportunity to face adversity as much and, and I'm, I'm, I'm happy uh, you know for two groups the, the players especially um, because they worked so darn hard this year, like right from training camp on, and and you need a payoff for that. You, you, you need to say there, there's the payoff for for what you've done for for getting off the mat as many times as you did, and and how hard you had to play to win every night. Um, so I'm happy for them, and then I'm happy for all the people who've been here a lot longer than I have. Um, because you need to pay off for some of the tough decisions that you make, you know, management about getting real young, developing players, giving some of these young players a chance to get that playoff, uh, more than just experience to give themselves a chance in the playoffs to go through it, to build on that. So there's been a lot of effort spent here, uh, not just in this year, certainly in this year, but not just in this year. And it's good for that group to get a, get a reward for their, for their work. We've got three exceptional captains. And when you look at the bulk of games that you see, just do it based on effort, on compete. When you look at what Ladd, Wheeler, and, and Stewart do, I want to be careful about you know, separating them from the group because the whole group works really hard. And we've, they've talked about you know, leadership as a group, that everybody's in on this. But those three guys in practices and in games they just don't take a day off. They, they don't. So there's the identity of your hockey team built on your captains. Our job as a, as a staff was, was to give them a framework that they could best use and best focus those competitiveness, competitive efforts that they were putting in. Um, never, never once did Kevin say, you, you know, make the playoffs. It's, it's part of the reason why I think Andre Pavlik has gotten a an absolute rough ride here in some ways. The idea that the team was right there, that's just they needed a goaltender to get them to the playoffs. And that was just absolutely not true. They needed the group to all get together in one direction. Their effort's good, their compete's good, they're, they're good men. The difference in this room that I think that I've seen in the past is this room found a way to stay very, very close during its adversity. And, and we lost those 4D, and that one, when we lost to San Jose that night at home, we had five defensemen injured. Nobody survives that. I mean, not long term. You can get get by, except these guys found a way to do it. Big part of it was we brought some guys in, management brought guys in to help help us survive that. That that will be the key piece. One of the key stories is the timing of the of the trades that happened here. They came in when we were almost all came around an injury where we, you know, look at this. It's one weekend. You, you slip a weekend or a week, and you're out. The timing of the people that were brought in and then, of course, the quality of them. 